What is the future of the product cycle with AI? This is a question I get asked all the time with product teams. Hey, my name is Diane and I'm the founder of The Design Project. I have designed for Crocs and Mercedes-Benz. I've been a solo designer for five startups. And today we work with over 50 B2B SaaS companies, working with teams that have been acquired by Slack, NVIDIA, and MrBeast. I'm on the cutting edge of speeding up design to dev handoff, using AI to generate front-end code. Today, I take my Figma designs, I build front-end code with Claude Code and Cursor, and I deliver directly into my customer's repo. What we'll cover today, setting up Claude Code with Cursor, connecting GitHub and Figma MCP, we're going to build out a feature within Claude Code and Cursor, and I'm going to answer questions I get from teams that want to implement this process. So why Claude Code within Cursor? I have tested Figma Make, B0, Lovable, all of them. This is my only recommendation, Figma to Claude Code within Cursor. Why? Because Claude Code is better, it cuts out the middleman, and it goes directly into the code base that your devs are using. Okay, step one is get repo access. Your designers, PMs, anyone on the product team needs to get invited to the company repo from your devs. The biggest concern here is devs say, I don't want my designer PM messing up my code, which is completely valid. The solution is to create a separate branch that the product team can work off of. They work off this branch, they won't break the code, and there's peace of mind. So now let's get started. Here's the server up and running. Here's cloud code within cursor, and here's my Figma file. First, I'm gonna make sure it does access. Do you see my Figma? Do you see my Figma? Now, what I need to do is build a button here that is going to open the sidebar I created. I'm gonna prompt it. Create a button that looks like this button class and put it next to this button class. So basically I'm telling it to create a button that looks exactly like this next to this button. Let's see what it does. Button next to the call actions button. Both buttons visible side by side. I should keep both buttons or replace. Keep both buttons. Okay, here we go. Add context. I would need to clean this up, make it capitalized, but it added the button, which is great. Okay, now I'm going to prompt it. Based on my Figma selection, create a sidebar that slides out from the right side of the screen when clicking the Add Context button. Make sure all fonts and colors adhere to the design. For all components, make sure each state is fully functional. Make sure to follow the exact programming language the codebase already uses. So what's really important here is to start to build a design system because once you build a design system, it is going to be able to replicate those components and reuse them everywhere and you won't have to keep tweaking because it is already pulling the direct code that you've created. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's see how it looks compared to this. Pretty good. Functional. So there you have it. Built this whole sidebar connecting to the button with prompting. Great, now the last thing I wanna do is commit this code. So, so I'm gonna go up here, press commit. It's gonna be pushed to the repo for the devs to review. Great, done. Here are the most common questions I get from founders, PMs, head of product that want to start this process. Question one, what percentage does a design need to be done before passing it to code? I would say about 80 to 90% done. It doesn't need interactions, it just needs the components and the layout on the screen because Claude Code is not a mind reader. So by taking that Figma design, you're going to be able to get it to a place where Claude Code can pick it up, start to build those interactions, and then from there you can tweak as necessary. Question two, once designs are implemented, what does that iteration cycle look like? So the designers can continue and prompt and work within Claude Code and Cursor, or they can go back to Figma. It's dependent on the project. I suggest if it's already in Claude Code, you continue to prompt it there to get it to where you need. 
This process takes some time. There is a learning curve. So just suggest to your team is to stick with it. Question three, can I trust the code? This is why I suggest Claude code because it is the code that most dev teams are using to build on top of. I also suggest that engineers still review the PRD. They need to check for performance code standards, security, everything like that. Again, this is really great for front end code. Back end, I still suggest that the devs play with the back end. Question four, what's the designer's workload versus AI's workload? Are designers just pressing buttons now? No, designers are still thinking deeply about the UX and the process up front. They're still putting together those Figma designs. They're using AI for research, absolutely, as they should to speed things up. But once they get that Figma in place, they basically are able to replace that front end dev that you need. The designer is still designing, they're also shipping, and AI is an execution tool, not the brain. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to the channel to get more insights from product teams.